Good morning, everybody, and boy, is it going to be a wonderful day on Hope on today. We have got so much going on today, it's not even funny. First of all, Isabel tells us we have a camper in the campsite, and it's so wonderful we get a new camper in our new campsite. I can't wait to see who it is, and if you'll look behind me, we have Flick again, which means we get to get a butterfly model for our park. That's going to be so wonderful. I'm so excited. We'll have to decide which butterfly we want. And I know, um, let's see. Oh, where is my shed? <laughs> I never know where anything is anymore. Um, we have to make a ring toss for the park. And we have to get more wasps nests. We need to get more beehives for Rattle's house. He needs a few more beehives. So while we're looking for those, we will go ahead and... Oh, I know what we need to do. Ah, I had so many dinosaur fossils um, that I had to turn in at the museum. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you my pockets again. Okay, I've got all these dinosaur bones that I need to sell over at Nooks. So I think that should be the first thing that we do. Hello, boys. That's a nice looking bike up there. <laughs> I want to sell. Of course, what exactly are you offering? Well, first of all, we're offering a handful of sticks. All these dinosaurs. Because I had collected a bunch and then I found nine more on the beach. Nine more on the beach. <laughs> oh... We're going to get a boodle of money. Nice. Well, we spent all our money yesterday on that sword for our upcoming castle. <laughs> Fauna. It costs 140,000 bells for a hanging scroll? That's a little too pricey for me. That's a little too pricey for me, too. I spent all my big... Big uh, money yesterday on that sword. Oh, my goodness. I may come back for that bike, though. Let's see how much it is. It's a cruiser bike. Ugh. Oh, let's go ahead and get it. Thanks, boys. That's very exciting. We're going to have a wonderful day. Uh-oh. Oh, it looks like somebody's lost something. Oh, no. This is such an eventful day. Let's get this and pick it up. And see if we can figure out who lost it. We're not very good at this. <laughs> a stylish bag. Adorned with gold metal spikes. It's got attitude. Oh boy. Gold metal spike. Gold metal spikes? Oh boy. Plucky? I don't know. We gave her a dreamy pochette the other day and she said that wasn't her style. Oh, boy. Um, bud? I don't know. I guess let's try Plucky. I don't know. Who could it be? <laughs> let's see. I don't even know where anybody lives anymore. There's Plucky's house, and she's not home. 
Let's see if we can find Plucky. Oh, and oh, I meant to say, let's um let's find my shed and see what butterflies I have so that we know if we want to turn one in that we already have. <laughs> There's rattle. Oops. Let's grab this and go. We also got... A, Rattle sent us a present because he couldn't give us a gift the other day. It's a steampunk hat. I don't know that I think... I think I'll just keep my boater. Alright, let's see. It's so exciting to have Flick come back so soon. All right, so we have Tiger Butterfly. We have the Orchid Mantis. We need one more Emperor Butterfly. Two more Kites. And, hmm, you know, the Orchid Mantis is really kind of cool. I don't want to do just a common one. Well, let's see if we can catch any um, of the rarer types of butterflies. And if not, we'll do the Orchid Mantis. Yay. All right. We'll keep our eyes open because we're, we're looking for wasps' nests too um, so that we can build Rattle another beehive. His yard has been coming along really, really well. There's one. And we only need one more. <laughs> Will we get lucky? Nope. We have a lot of trees we can check. And there's Bud, he's checking too. I'm really excited about the camper. We need to find Plucky. We need to build a beehive. There we go. <laughs> It's a little crowded over here. I'm glad we didn't get stung. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's run back this way. Where is that Plucky? Plucky! Is she by the lake? No. There's a little butterfly. We need to catch some of these bugs to make way for the for the good ones. Now, we've added this wonderful fence and roses to Fauna's property. And it looks so good because we had to move the pink roses um, from Rattle's Acre that I think I may extend it over to the extra property and give her this little side yard that we can do something with. Now we've done ours with a lawnmower and I set some chairs out in my yard um, but we still have this area that we need to work with too that's not actually a part of our yard but we need to develop that also so I'm trying to get some ideas for that and we finished our pool area. Now, the park. Here's our lovely first model of the honeybee. And we've added a lot of flowers to the park. And we're still adding flowers. The weeds are coming in over at the, at the marsh where the little duck lives. And look at the little cherry petals falling in the water. Isn't that cool? So the park is really beautiful. I'm loving to just sit in here and enjoy the flowers and the falling petals. It's just amazing. And the campsite. There's our twin pines. Yay! And the campsite. 
is filling in also, especially now that we have a camper. We added a wishing well. We added a drinking fountain and the campsite sign. We added the little deer scare back here in the back corner. And we still have to make our other ring toss to make this a game. And now that we have a camper, we better get on it. Oh, missed that grasshopper. <laughs> Got him. Got him. <laughs> All right. Well, let's pop in and see. We tried to dress uh, today appropriate for greeting visitors. So we're casual, but we're... we're upscale casual I guess you'd say so let's go in and see who our camper is oh who's this kitty well you're not a shy one are you my name's kitty how kind of you to stop by I absolutely love this island don't you the air the trees the water it's all so splendid I confess I can't help but think how fabulous it would be to live here. Yes. To be honest, darling, I wouldn't have thought camping like this would suit me. After all, I usually loathe to go without basic amenities, you know, like an infinity pool or a heated bidet. <laughs> but much to my surprise, roughing it suits me just fine. I find it appeals to my bold nature. No, this cat isn't about to let a little fresh air and an unkempt wilderness keep her from adventure. Nice kitty. It's important that one set out on new travel adventures whenever one can. It's the best way to see new things and meet new folks. Not to mention, find new places to shop. <laughs> it's refreshing for one's soul. The traveling and the shopping. Of course. Well, Kitty's a snooty cat villager. She sounded a little snooty. She just had a birthday, too, on February 15th. Well, that's the first halfway decent visitor we've had in a while. A snooty villager, though. Hmm. Not sure. But we'll talk to her again and see how that goes. All right, let's get our net back out. We're looking for bugs. I just saw a dragonfly. Okay, so here we are. We're at Rattle's house. This is the very edge of Rattle's property right here, and he's getting his beehives all set up in his yard. He's got his little workstation up here. And he's got his flowers all planted in his yard. We went with the, um, the stone walkway instead of the um, arched one. And uh, well, I'm trying to find a little blob of honey to put under his honey pots. But if I can't, I'll just have to try to make one. Oops. Oh, we keep missing that grasshopper. <laughs> grasshopper! <laughs> They hop too fast for me. <laughs> yes, if we could get some butterflies. Oh, I wouldn't mind getting the orchid mantis because it's so pretty. But I thought I'd like to start with butterflies just because of all the flowers in the, in the park. All right. And we're... We're not going to be working on our new acre, which is acre seven today. Oh, Rattle needs more flowers, but he's also put in a telescope back here. So we'll have to make him a little science station or something to go back here. 
and get rid of the dotted line that's back here in the back of his house marking his property. He put up a little hammock. You know, he's a lazy, so he needs somewhere to relax and watch the bees. And he's put in these two um, rock, big garden rocks on the edge of his property. We're trying to get another blue pansy to grow, so we've given them a lot of water today. But I'm really liking the, the beehives and Rattle's yard. Pretty cool. We'll probably add another row of flowers. And he's got a bike uh, over here. We just bought a bike, so we may give him another bike. That way he can ride with friends. We're still looking for Plucky. Let's see, where'd my bike go? There it is. We'll put it under the tree. Oh yeah, that looks good. <laughs> now he can go riding with friends. Our next acre, which is acre six, is down here in this area. We still have some flowers to clear out, but we'll get that all pegged out pretty soon. We're not going to do our next acre today. We're going to visit with our neighbors and clean up the beach and try to find Plucky to see if this is her bag. We can't talk to anybody until we find Plucky. So we're going to look hard for her while we look for some butterflies to give to Flick. We'll, we'll have a whole collection of bugs by the time um, we, get, we get around to him again. There's Bud, he's still looking. Uh-oh, Rattle's talking. Let's see, Rattle. Oh, I'm glad I ran into you. Feels like I've been looking for you forever. But, any time off my couch feels like forever, so it might have only been a few minutes. Anyway, I found that thing you were looking for, you know, the, um, the heart apron? Was I looking for that? Huh, maybe it was a dream I had. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell dreams and um, not dreams apart. Oh well, ain't important, because it's yours now, Moon Pie. Anyway, if I was dreaming or not, I hope you like it. Well, thanks, a heart apron. Cool. All right, where's that plucky? Well, you know, let's see. We've got so many bugs in our pocket, but I think we can pick up a few of these shells that we find on the beach while we're looking for Plucky. And there's a bottle that we haven't picked up. Let's see. Looks like a recipe from peanut coconut milk. I think we already know that one. That's okay. Well, there's not as many shells on the beach as I would have thought. I see a butterfly and a dragonfly over there. Let's go see if we can get them. <laughs> I wonder if Plucky's visiting somebody. Where could she be? Ah, oh, You just never know where people are hanging out. She's probably in the museum. See if we can get this dragonfly. Oh, we did. First try. <laughs> That's very good. All right. Oh, we've got two more spaces. Let's see. Plucky. Who knows where Plucky hangs out? She was hanging out over here the other day. She had the zoomies. We gave her that dreamy pochette and she wasn't too too thrilled with it. So we, we missed the mark there. She said it just wasn't her style, so I don't know. Let's see. I guess we'll have to check the museum because I don't see her anywhere. Let's go down to the beach. Hmm. 
Morning, Captain. He's waiting for a fare. I don't know if we'll have enough pocket space for all these shells. Where's Plucky? Uh-oh. I think we're probably about full. Yep, we're going to release him. We can get a few more cherry blossoms, though. <laughs> Well, no sign of Plucky, so I guess we'll have to check the museum. I All those shells I saw on the beach the other day must have washed back out. Because <laughs> I, don't, I don't see hardly any on the beach. Alright. Yay, park! Yay for the park! Pretty soon we'll have another butterfly model to go in there. Well, there's mint, and I don't think mint would carry anything with spikes. Well, we'll give over these bugs to Flick. I've got a bug to sell. I've got a whole bunch of bugs to sell. <laughs> a few bees. A few grasshoppers. A few blue bottles. Yay. Pocket space. Can I offer you, say, 98.25 bells for the bunch of them? Sell, sell! Really, thank you! Let me know if you catch any more. You know it! Alright. We'll head over to the museum to look for Plucky. I don't see her anywhere. There's a I'm not very good at catching those. Uh. <laughs> All right, we'll go in the museum. And we should check our Nook Miles goals to see if we have to get coffee. Well, we've already done our assessing of fossils. And apparently we've talked to three neighbors. Hmm. Oh, catch a dragonfly. Change your clothes. Grow some fruit trees. Sell fruit. Okay. Well, and DIY, we have to make a ring toss. And another beehive. So that'll be our DIY for sure. But no coffee yet. So we'll have to solve a... A few more of those um, Nook Miles goals. Most people like to look at the fish, so we'll look for Plucky in here. Usually see them right off if they're in, so... Hmm... Maybe we'll go check the bugs. She could even be in having coffee. No plucky so far. Nobody in here today. <laughs> a 
<laughs> well, where is everybody? Oh, nice. Last time I was in here, all the butterflies were sitting around like they were tired. <laughs> they weren't flying at all. Funny. I guess we'll check the dinosaurs. Maybe Plucky's in there looking for chicken bones. Or maybe I just struck out. I don't see anybody in here. I always get lost. <laughs> I need to be real careful where I go. No plucky in here. See, I'm lost already. <laughs> oh no, I was hoping that was the way out. <laughs> Help, I'm lost in the museum. Plucky. Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. I think we've done all this before. How do I get out of here? Finally. All right, let's check the artwork. I don't see Plucky being an art fan, really. <laughs> I have a lot of the statues, but I don't have a lot of the artwork. Well, I thought I did, and I guess I do have quite a bit of it. I never know what I have when I go look at Red's art. <laughs> so, I'm usually always buying things two and three times. I really should learn to look first. No sign of Plucky, though. Alright, last resort. We're going to check the coffee shop. No, <laughs> it's Fauna. A cup of coffee at the start of the week is a great way to reset after the weekend. Yes, indeed. But not right now. Not until we get our Nook Miles goal. <laughs> we've checked the fish. We've checked the art. We've checked the bones. We've checked the bugs. It's time to go back and check Plucky's house again, I guess. Wherever she is. Hey, I think she's home. Yeah, she's home now. Hey, Plucky, we kept missing you. We've been looking for you all over. Thanks for coming around. Did you drop something? What, you found something? Let's see it. Is this my bag? I didn't even know I lost it. Sweet, I knew I could count on you to find it for me. Here, I want to give you a Miko attire. No need to thank me, I'm thanking you. Well, good job. Who knew? <laughs> Plucky and <laughs> metal spikes. Uh, Okay, let's see what she gave us. Miko attire. Oh, I see. Well, I think we'll go back to our shirt and cargo pants. Because 
that's what we're most comfortable in. <laughs> All right, so we've got to sell some fruit today to get one of our Nook Miles goals. And we have to plant fruit trees. So we'll go ahead and get a boodle of fruit while we're here. And see if we see any good butterflies. We've been trying to get a better grade of butterfly for our next model. And if we don't see any, we're going to settle for the Orchid Mantis, which will be a good addition to the park because they love the white flowers. Ooh, there's a pretty one. Let's catch that one. Where did he go? There he is. <laughs> oh, what's that? Agrius. Ooh. I don't know if we'll find be able to find three of those, but we'll try. We're trying to collect some more cherry blossom petals so that we can do another um, cherry blossom petal pile. Oh, there's another. Is that a blue bottle? Oh, no. What's that? A peacock. See, now that we've weeded out some of the more common ones, we're starting to get some of the better butterflies. Ooh, a peacock butterfly. That would be really pretty in the park. Let's hope we can find some more. If we find ourselves over by the campground again, we'll talk to Kitty again. Let's see, we'll sneak in the back way. I hope Kitty likes toast. <laughs> Hi, Kitty. When I went camping as a young cat with my family, I loved toasting marshmallows over the fire. I wasn't very patient, so I usually burned them, but I didn't mind. They still tasted delicious to me. Well, there is a trick to it, Kitty. That's for sure. It's, you don't put them over the flames, you put them over the embers. You know, darling, I used to think traveling to unknown places just wasn't for me. But getting away from my own island and flying to someplace completely different, it's downright exhilarating. Plus, the whole island adventurer thing, it looks rather good on me, don't you think? <laughs> yes, we do. I have a little proposal for you, my dear. Let's play a game for my printed sleeve sweater. If you win, you get my printed sleeve sweater as a present. Let's do it. Before we get started, do you know the rules? I know them. Wonderful, let's get started. First, shuffle the cards really well. Voila, I have picked a card. Now tell me, is it red like my favorite high heels or black like my favorite party dress? I'm going to say red. Next, let's check your answer. The card is a red heart and it's red as a rose. My dear, so you got it right. Well, well, it seems you're quite good at this, and as promised, you've won my printed sleeve sweater. Here you go. That was so much fun, I don't even mind losing. I do hope we play again sometime. Well, that was fun. Okay, so... I think we need to get a little bit of wood um, for the ring toss that we have to make. That means chopping a few trees while we look for another peacock butterfly. Oh, we may have to get rid of this fruit first. So I guess we'll do that first. 
If we pass a few more fruit trees on the way, we will collect the fruit. I had to collect some fruit the other day, so some of these trees are bare. There's a cherry tree. We'll just get one more. We'll get our shovel. And we'll plant one of these. Doesn't matter where, because everything's going to be moving. We'll plant a cherry tree. And then we'll go sell our fruit. Over at Nooks. And the shells, too. Ray, all right, let's check. Yes, yes, yes. We have to catch a dragonfly. Spend bells to buy items and pop a balloon. Okay. So, we want to work on our beehive. So, let's get our axe. We'll go chop a few trees. Oh, there's a butterfly, but it's not one we're looking for. So, we won't get distracted. <laughs> I think we have to have two different kinds of wood to make a beehive, and I'm not sure which one, which ones it was. All right, we'll see. I think it was two of each kind. So I think we've got two softwoods, two woods. Oh, and only one hardwood. Let's see. Oh, we have another. So we have two of each kind of wood. So if we get our DIY table out. Let's see. We want to make a beehive. Let's get this alphabetical. Oops. Let's see. Alphabetical. There's beehive. Oh, no. Oh, it was three of one. Three wasp nests and four five wood and we only have four okay well more chopping for us we need another wood that's a soft wood <laughs> and a hard wood of course we couldn't be that lucky could we there we go now we can do it. <laughs> One beehive coming up. And we need one more DIY. Let's see if we have... Well, we can make a boomerang. Hmm. What about any food or anything? There's something. Hey, there's a duck. We'll make a duck. Awesome. That should be our goal. Hmm? How many do we have to craft? Oh, no. <laughs> We have to craft three. We can still craft a boomerang. <laughs> we'll craft a boomerang. Well, now we're all done. Ray. Oops, let's pick up that bench because otherwise we'll lose it 
next time we need it. All right, let's get our net and get these butterflies out of here so that more will come in. All right. And there is another cherry petal. All right. So let's see if we see any more butterflies around. <laughs> or a dragonfly. I think we still have to catch a dragonfly. We have a nice big field to run in. We won't find many butterflies unless we go by the flowers, though. And who has a bunch of flowers? Rattle. And who else has a bunch of flowers? The park. <laughs> Hooray. Another cherry blossom petal. That could have been one of our crafting um, jobs, too, because we needed to make another pile of cherry petals. We probably have enough for that. There's a grasshopper. And I see a praying mantis over here. Yes! Oh, there's another one. There's another one over here. We missed him. It's hard to it's hard to get them when they're when they're um, behind something. Okay, let's look look for some more beautiful butterflies or or a dragonfly. Nope. Let's see what we need for our ring toss. Maybe it was the ring toss that needed two of each thing. Yes, two wood and two soft wood. All right, we'll have to get our X back out. Now we're catching these petals. But we would like some butterflies. We would like some colorful, colorful butterflies. So we're going to catch all these little bugs to make more room for butterflies. Here's a group of flowers. Don't see any butterflies. Here's a group of flowers. No butterflies here either. No bugs at all. We're on a quest. We really want to get one of those peacock butterflies. Hey, pop a balloon is one of our chores. First try. Let's see what it is. A square bathtub and Another Nook Mile goal or two. There's our crafting one and our balloon one. Oh, now we need to catch fish and cook up a storm. We're 
We're just in the market for butterflies. There's Flick. Let's get rid of some of these bugs. Flick. Can I offer you 4,425 bells for the bunch of them? Sell, sell. Thank you. Let me know if you catch any more. I sure will. We're in the market. We have to get some more wood too. So we can make the um the ring toss. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. I guess we'd already chopped that tree today. Oh boy, we don't want to keep doing that. Oh, there's a stink bug. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got stung. Well, it was bound to happen. <laughs> it was just bound to happen. That's the way our luck goes. We'll get our DIY table back out. Let's craft. We're going to make the ring toss. We're going to make a beehive. First thing we'll do is give, um, we'll give Rattle another beehive or two. There he goes, we got a whole row of them now. And then we'll put another one right over here. He's quite the beekeeper, you know. Then we're going to sneak around to the campground again and finish the ring toss game. We're not going to customize this one because um, then they'll both be different and when you throw one ring to one side and one to the other, you'll know which one goes where. Yay, that looks like fun. Let's check in on Kitty again. You can't go camping without a campfire. It's just not done. Gathering around the fire, telling spooky stories in the flickering light. It's a time-honored tradition. Though I confess, it's much harder to go to sleep in a dark tent after that. <laughs> you got that right. That's the whole purpose of it. <laughs> I have a little proposal for you. Let's play a game for my fishing vest. It's simple. If you win, you get my fishing vest as a present. Well, that will be appropriate because I have to go fishing. So let's do it. We know the rules. She's going to shuffle. She's picked a card. Uh-oh, is it red or is it black? This time we'll go black. Oh, it's red again. Oh, no fishing vest for me. My goodness, I win this round. I'm sorry, but that means no present for you. I must be sure to thank Lady Luck for smiling on me today. <laughs> yeah. 
I only meant to come here for a little getaway, but now that it's nearly time to leave, it makes me quite sad. I can't help but imagine what my life would be like if I lived on Hopemont instead. No doubt it would be a step up from what I'm used to. Then live here. Oh my, you're quite serious, aren't you? But what to do? Do I stay? Do I go? This is a more difficult decision than I might have thought. What is my fate to be? Oh, I know. Let's let fate decide for us. Yes, we shall play a little game, and if you win, I'll move here. A rather novel idea, if I do say so myself. It's worth a try, don't you think? Count me in. Very good, very good. In that case, let's get this game underway. Oh boy, she's shuffling those cards again. Oh, is it red or is it black? Now, most of them have been red. And every time I choose black, it's red. So this time, I'm going to say black because it's probably black. I don't know. We've got a 50-50 chance. Oh, it's red. <laughs> Everyone has been red. Why do I keep falling for that? I'm the victor. No pouting about the results either. I suppose I won't be moving. Still, I can hardly wait to get back and tell everyone what a fab time we had. They'll be positively green with envy. Well, I'm not giving up. <laughs> I don't think I've ever asked a camper to move. Um, yeah, I'm not real sure. You know, I keep wanting to go out this way, and I think I think Rattle's going to have to get over it, and we're just going to have to have an exit over here, and maybe take this rock up so that we can go out this way, and we'll put the rock somewhere else, because I keep wanting to go out that way, and I can't do it, so it's <laughs> it just throws me off every time. We'll put the garden rock here. And we'll be able to go out between the twin pines. Okay, so let's see. What was on our list of things to do? We made some more beehives for Rattle. We finished the ring toss for the campground. And we found the owner of the lost bag. The only thing we haven't done is decide on a a creature for Flick to um, make us a model for. And I really, really wanted that peacock butterfly, but we've only seen one. And I don't think we're going to find any more. We could try. I wonder if he'd make more than one model. I don't see many butterflies, and we've been trying to catch all the bugs we can. Where did that grasshopper go? Hmm. All right, well, we're going to get in our shed and get out the orchid mantis. <laughs> Mint, were you trying to scare us? <laughs> All right, Flick. Bugs are an experience. They are a conversation, one between the viewer and the universe. Pay attention, Flick. Yes, we have. We do want a commission. All right, we've got some bugs to sell. We'll probably do this and then we'll get a peacock butterfly.
Yes, we'll take it. There was only a few in there. Let me know if you catch any more. What bug have you chosen to act as our guide? It's the Orchid Mantis. Yes, we'll do three of them, please. <laughs> All right, go ahead and create that for us. We would love to have it in our park. Thank you. Now, we'll try to find more of the peacock butterflies so that we can try to get another piece of art from him. He may only do one. You know, it may be like red where you only get to buy one piece of art. So, but we'll try. And if not, we'll save the peacock butterflies for next time. So we've done really well. We have gotten a lot of our Nook Miles goals out of the way. We're still working on some. They're not too hard. We helped Rattle finish his beehives. And we looked over all of our accomplishments. And next time, we'll start work on Acre 6. It will be so much fun. So much fun. But I won't tell you what Acre 6 is until next time when we come back. And then we'll map it out. And we'll see what the random requirements are for that acre. So until then, we appreciate your visit. If you like the video, hit the like button. And please subscribe so that you can join us again and again. We'd love to have you. Bye for now. Please join Shamelin on Hope Mont again with her neighbors Dora, Murphy, Plucky, Camo Frog, Rattle, Spork, Bud, Mint, Fauna, and Ed. See you soon!